Hello and welcome to Electric Myths. This is a new BMW podcast series where we'll be looking at all the electric myths that people are worried about when getting to EVs and stuff like that. So my name's Tommy, I'm your host and I've got my co-host with me. Hi folks, I'm Charlie, I'm a racing driver. I review cars, I talk about tech online all the time. So this is pretty much my field. I love electric cars. And uh, where are we today? We are sat in the BMW iX M60. This is a beautiful car, guys. If you can't see it, it's such a nice interior. I love all these little features and functions. We've got this massive panoramic LED display in front of us. Amazing. And we're also at the BMW Vault, which is an iconic, iconic building where people come sometimes to pick up their cars, spotted a few EVs around as well, which is actually interesting, seeing the i4 in person and so much more, which is really good. Today, we're going to be talking about EV dangers. People think they are dangerous. Do you feel safe in this one? I feel pretty safe sat in this car, to be honest. I mean, it's a nice, modern car it doesn't feel i noticed actually getting in looking at the door sills it's all carbon fiber as well actually oh. yeah so carbon fiber of course the material we use in a lot of race cars because it's very lightweight yeah. and it's very strong ah i did not know that yeah <laughs> of course you're a race driver so you would know stuff like that that's interesting that's fascinating what are the things that you think people worry about when it comes to the dangers of driving evs i think people probably worry about the battery and okay. this 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 issue about batteries catching fire um, I suppose the way I relate to this is, you know, every time you get on a plane at an airport and they, you know, you check your hold luggage in and they say, you know, do you have any laptops, any batteries, the lithium ion batteries? And it maybe comes from that, that people have this, you know, this idea that somehow lithium ion batteries can catch fire. Right, because people don't realise that the battery tech in cars are actually a little bit different from the ones that you have in your phones and laptops and stuff like that, because these have a lot of technology that protects it, including just the general protection, but thermal management is actually a big thing that's developed for car. Yeah, EVs. like you're going to struggle to cram all that into a laptop. You know, this is a car, right? You've got more packaging, there's more you can do with that. Um, and also, you know, why do people, why do people focus on electric cars catching fire? I mean, you know, think about this statistically, right? right? We were just talking about this a moment ago. Yeah, yeah. So we were talking about, you know, when, when you put it into scale, you know, when you compare it to ICE cars, combustion engine cars, um, per a thousand pounds, uh, sorry, not a thousand, a hundred thousand cars sold, if you put them side by side, there are actually less fires with EVs compared to your petrol engine cars, which is interesting. Yeah, like in, insurance industry reports have, you know, quantifiably measured this and said petrol cars are much more susceptible to fire. Yeah. than electric vehicles and it's just the fact that actually there are far fewer electric cars out there mm -hmm. and so you know the rare cases that a car does catch fire of course it comes up in the press the media yeah, makes a story out of it yes but you know the reality this is the thing thousands of petrol cars catch fire around the world every day every day do we hear about it no, no. <laughs> too busy focusing on ev <laughs> and in fact this car that we're in or let's just talk about the ix flagship for example that's got a five-star NCAP, Euro NCAP rating back in 2021. And that's as good as it gets. I think if that, you... That's the gold standard. Yeah, yeah. To get five-star rating is actually not easy at all. It goes through a rigorous amount of testing to make sure it's safe when it comes to fire, crashes, etc. And we were talking about, in fact, yes, the fire itself is very dangerous, you know, burns and all that stuff. But mm. the fumes, it's actually quite toxic when it comes to petrol engine cars, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, let, let's look at this for a minute. What is the most flammable substance you can think of? Petrol. Right, okay. <laughs> I can't think of anything else. So when you think about, realistically, what's the most likely thing to catch fire? You know, you're in a car with a petrol tank. It's mm. full of petrol. Right. Uh, you know, why, why do you not think about that? in that context yeah yeah is, why, why, you, why don't you stress about that you're carrying it everywhere with you because you're used to it yes. because you've done it the whole time you've been driving and you've probably never questioned it have mm -hmm. you yeah. you stand there at a petrol station pumping flammable petrol into your car <laughs> when you're charging an electric car you know it's yeah. it's just reframing your perception funny one do you remember when they used to have that sign that says you can't have your phone out when you're charging i mean when you're uh, filling up your your petrol tank yeah you don't yeah. see that near electric cars you? <laughs> no, <that's a> good <laughs> you, point. <laughs> you just turn up plug it in tap away and you're charging your car or charge overnight next to your house and you you're good to go like talking about that actually you couldn't fill up your tank next to your house on a daily basis 
well, yeah, because you'd be having to store all this petrol at home, which again, which wouldn't be very do. safe. Yeah, 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 exactly. So having an EV is as safe as it gets, in my opinion. Yeah. I think so. And the batteries, you know, of course, in these cars, you know, they're mounted very low down. Mm -hmm. they're, they're fully encased and protected. There's so much, so much design and technology that's, that's built into that. It's a very sophisticated thing. Chances of that going wrong? Well, I think what we've learned so far is basically they're no more dangerous than a regular car. It's just 80% of customers are new to EVs. So logically, they're going to be quite concerned about all the, the dangers of it. So it's all about the transparency mm -hmm. and just communication and this podcast series that tells you actually the sa it's as safe as it gets. Any learnings or takeaways that you think? Yeah, I mean, I think we've, we've busted a few myths there, really. It's yeah. just... Yeah, 80% of customers to EVs are new customers. So it's just a case of learning and learning about new things. That's what we're doing today. We're giving you guys the information. So. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And if you want to know more, make sure you like, you share it and subscribe wherever you consume in this content. And uh, yes, we shall see you in the next episode.